on the water has been brought to you by Here we have Travis Osborne, the current Asian Australasian wakeboarding champion, third in the world last year. Trav, welcome to On the Water. Thanks, Caveman. Thanks for uh, thanks for getting me out of bed early on a Sunday. I tell you, mate, it's a fantastic day here on the Murray here at Corowa. Um, firstly, wakeboarding. It's uh, it's really taken off in Australia and around the world. It has, mate. It's probably uh, look. It's probably the number one fastest growing. Uh, water sport, I guess, you know, participation wise in Australia and, uh, and the US and particularly now through Asia now it's booming. So um, yeah, it's, it's really kicking off. How long have you been involved, mate? I know you've been on the Pro Tour for four years. How long have you been wakeboarding? Uh, probably, this would be probably my sixth or seventh year seriously wakeboarding. I mean, I grew up here on the river obviously and um, we all mucked around on old surfboards and whatever else we could get our hands on. So yeah, a, a few years now. So that was the advent of wakeboarding. You started off on a surfboard, decided you'd throw a couple of bindings on it and see how it went. Yeah, I think that's what uh, I think that's really where it stemmed from. You know, it was sort of a, a crossover from a lot of sports, snowboarding, surfing, skating. It uh, yeah, sort of fused into into what we have here, which is a wakeboard. And um, yeah, it's awesome. Mate, uh, we've just seen a bit of footage of you belting, the, belting around there. How long has it taken you to get to that level where you can actually uh, get weight to weight, do a few somersaults and whatnot? Look, the, I mean, the initial sort of learning curve, you know, for some people takes a little while. It's sort of like a bit of an apprenticeship year, if you like. You know, it takes you, you know, maybe 12 months to sort of really get, get a gist of the basics. But, um, you know, once you get those basics down, Pat, it it's actually doesn't take long to sort of get yourself up to the point where you're doing a flip or two and, um, you know, and you're out there having fun. How is a beginner's board different to a, an advanced board? Well, I guess that's the beauty these days. Um, t you know, that the only difference probably between a beginner board and an advanced board is the price. You know, a lot of the beginner boards now are, um, are, are moulded based off the uh, advanced boards. Um, so, you know, there's really not a lot of difference. A beginner can hop straight on a top end board if they like, okay, or if they wish just to get into the sport, you know, spend a few less dollars. Okay, there's plenty there for the right price. Right, um, now the boat itself set up completely different to a normal ski boat. Can you explain the differences with a wakeboard boat and the reasons for it? Yeah, well, obviously, uh, wakeboarding is all about getting maximum airtime. So, what they found is uh, obviously the bigger the boat, okay, um, you know, and the bigger the wake, I guess. So, what we have also is things like inbuilt ballast and things like that. So uh, kind of in reverse to a lot of boat boating type activities of actually putting water in the boat rather than uh, emptying it out. So, um, you know, the deeper the boat sits in the water, the bigger the wake and the more air you can get. Right, we noticed earlier you were pumping water into the ballast tank at the front and that's for exactly the same reason. Yeah, yep. Yeah. This uh, the boat we've got here with us today, is um, it's got a front and rear ballast system. So, yeah, no, no water bags or anything laying around the boat. Plenty of room, frees up lots of space and, uh, yeah, and gives you that big wake that you're looking for. Right, now the big bars on the back of it there, are they just to hang lights and speakers off or are they roll bars because you're going too quick? What's the story behind them? Well, luckily we're never going too quick uh, with, with wakeboarding, but uh, basically that's the tower and um, basically all the top end boats will have a tower system that, um, you know, they support their board racks and lights and bits and pieces so you can hang your boards out of the way. And uh, what happens also, having a tower, it's a, uh, a higher higher towing point so yeah. rather than getting pulled down towards the water you're getting a bit of an upward lift off the wake so and that's that that also helps in getting a bit more air oh okay no worries at all now is the the shape of the hull does that also count like is it a deeper v to a to a normal boat yeah yeah it makes a huge difference um what they find is i was actually involved in a lot of the research and development with this current model here um with ski craft and we uh you know tried a few different hull designs and what we found is with a really sort of sharp deep V, you know, if that continued right through the boat, okay, the boat was a little bit unstable and uh, and the wake was a little bit, you know, too steep and crumbly. So what they find is that most boats, most wakeboard boats, they have quite a, a deep sort of centre V through to it and where it'll taper off and flatten out towards the back of the hull to get that nice shaped wake that you're looking for. Right, now the step off the back, is that just, is that is that for any performance or just easy to get your, your, uh, your board on as you're jumping off the back? Nah, we're a pretty lazy bunch, us wakeboarders, so we like things to be as uh, easy and low fuss as possible. So, same again, you know, we have a nice, uh, nice flash boarding platform. You can sit back there, put your board on, and then, uh, you know, hop into the water and go for it. 
Now, is there any length of rope that's required for competition, or do they just say, look, you just go for it, work it out yourself, and what best suits you? Um, no, there's no set no set length of rope. Um, you'll find most guys ride, I ride somewhere around 80 to 85 feet, and that's pretty much stock standard. You know, most guys are around that, that area. Um, and there's really no, that's, I guess that's the coolest thing about wakeboarding, there's really no sort of governing, no rules or laws that say you have to have a rope this long or you have to do this many tricks or whatever. So it's sort of a bit of a, bit of a, an expression sort of thing. You go out there and, and do it your own way. What sort of power plants in the boat? Mate, the new Ski Craft X is running the uh, PCM, the 6 litre 375 horsepower from, from the US. And uh, yeah, absolutely faultless, tons of horsepower. Uh, you know, so when the boat's loaded full of full of the ballast and all your mates and whatever else, it's uh, yeah, spot on. I oh, notice we got the Bimini on the top. The Sun Smart campaign have been working hard to get the <laughs> Bimini on the top, provide the shade during the hot day, so we're not getting red heads and noggins and whatnot. Yeah, well, that's it, and especially you know, we do a lot of um, do a lot of you know clinics and uh, you know coaching and whatever else, you know demos and promos and stuff. And I can tell you, you know, you spend a long hours in the boat every weekend, and uh, you'd be you'd be buggered without it. <laughs> I'm sure. Now uh, you got the I've noticed there's pretty good sound system in there as well, so you know you can. Get get rocking on the river too. Oh mate, the boys at Ski Craft, she's an absolute, uh, it's a fair unit, the stereo system, so, and that's what it's all about too. It's nothing better than when you're out, out the back and you can hear the tunes cranking, so. It's, it's Bit of heavy doof doof as you're belting <laughs> along doing uh, backward somersaults and whatnot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ozzy, one more question. Can I have a crack? Mate, I'd be pumped. I can't wait to get you out there, caveman. <laughs> well, we'll see how I go. I don't know how it's actually going to go, but we'll, we'll give it a crack. Good on you, mate. Uh, no worries, caveman. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. On the Water has been brought to you by